and welcome to the Iceman channel. Today I'm going to talk about what you do when you face an old, oh, not legacy, but an old HID iClass uh, high security configured and elite configured reader. Let me show you. I have a reader here. Don't mind that it looks like crap with a card box and everything like that. I needed to lift it up for the cable. I have a little proximal layer on there because we needed to demonstrate it. So what I need to do now is in order to figure out how to extract the key. Normally you have a card and you have a, key or a card or a reader, you can clone that one, but you don't know that for now. So you do a reader only attack. That reader only attack is called the low class. It's a pun onto I class and low class security, I guess. It was invented by Carl and then implemented by Hollyman and then optimized by PV, was kind of awesome. And then I optimized even more, making it multi threaded. So uh, let me show you how fast it does to recover the key from uh, the high security readers, the old ones. Like I said, it's a two part situation. A two part situation is you need to go to iClass simulation. You need to collect some key material data in order for a brute force to work. And that would be T2. You would execute a low class attack online part here. If I do that, you take the Proxmark and you just present it to the reader and that's it. You're done. You can walk away. It takes less than two seconds to do that. Next thing you would do is to execute a low class attack. And I know it takes a file and it takes this file here where we had it. And when I run this, you will see how fast it goes today. Remember that I'm encoding video and everything at all at the same time at this computer. So it takes a little bit longer. So it's an eight threaded computer I have, four cores, logic threads four, and it takes about eight seconds to execute this command to, to recover a key from this the high security. So this is the key to need to do in order to communicate with cards on that one from that reader or if you encode a credential for that reader if you know the facility code and card number you could make your own credentials given that key and now you have a key say you get you know close you want to get close to someone's credential then you would need to you know talk to the credential so how do you do that like i said before i have a Elite card key already configured with that key, but that reader doesn't talk or beep, so it's a little bit unstable from on that one. Too many experiments. But you do something like whoo, uh, you can verify that it's not a standard key by doing that, it doesn't like it. And then if I add the new one, I'm sure something new as well. I have a new key. We do now take quotes around binary or hexa strings thank you for jump to implement that or was it yeah and i need to tag on elite here because it's elite if i do that and you see you can extract and talk to the card of credentials so that was done with elite high security card so you recover key you can do it you can read the card and credential from it great what if you don't have access to the reader you just happen to get access to a tag, like that one, laying around. What do you do then? Now, that is a good question. What do you do then? Uh, based on the research from uh, me and uh, I and ZeroXFF did, and we presented last year at uh, DevCon uh, at the RF Village, we uh, discussed the elite key uh, diver diversification function, the KDF uh, key div derivative, <laughs> I hate saying that word, you know what I mean, KDF or key gen algo. 
Uh, so you can actually run a card only attack against elite credentials, encrypted credentials. So let me show you how that works. First, of course, you would do the check command and it takes a default key list. Now you would use the leaked default keys with the elite keys that we were talking about, the reason why we made that presentation the first hand. And if you run that, Ooh, default, no. No, not resources, sorry, I'm wrong. And default, I class thing. And I need to tack on elite to it. And if I run that one, it managed to recover the keys within one second. So with that, you have a card only attack as well. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video.